All right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. So all eyes are on Khabib Nurmagomedov. Daniel, as your former teammate, makes his return to competition here tonight. A lot of us felt like this moment would not materialize. He's chasing 30-0 now. He's chasing 30-0. I mean, he's one of the only guys to get out of this thing clean. Nobody goes undefeated unless your name is Khabib Nurmagomedov. The guy has fought the best. He is a guy that lets you know what his intentions are, and he goes out there and he works the game plan. He's gonna get in your face. He's gonna try to overwhelm you with his wrestling. And you look at his boy, Hasbula in the corner. Habib Nurmagomedov's looking for a big night. The Dagestani social media legend has Bula Magomedov in the corner of Khabib Nurmagomedov tonight. Khabib Nurmagomedov ready to engage yet again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Big Daddy. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib. There's Herb Dean, he will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks in his Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Pablo Guerrero and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena, to the arena, when Conor became the king, this was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. So, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Oh, he connects there. Nurmago Medov gets caught by the straight punch. Too easy for the Nurmago Medov gets the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming, unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you that he's going to take you down. And he has so many ways of getting through that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up. And right away, he gets to fight exactly where he needs it to be. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. That's a pretty good right hand there by your team. 
teammate Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands often. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Just out of range with the big right hand. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this. I mean, it's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strike, big double leg, double change. Takedown defense holds up. Now goes to the uppercut. And immediately gets the underhook. And now some separation. Job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking the damage of strikes on top. Clean punch. Good fight here under two to go. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Numago Metal. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight to beat, but you better be very weary of this stand-up. He's developing the skill every single day. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he lands a lovely takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. Namago Manoff trying for a submission here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Oh, nice job to win the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Slips the left hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Takedown defense is there. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Working off the jab, it's good. All right, 45 seconds now to go with the round. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you see two high-level grapplers going Ready. after it. One guy Ready. gets an advantage. The other guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. All right, next round is underway. We saw one submission attempt in the previous round, and you know moving forward, this guy is all about submission over the position. You saw one in the previous round. Look forward to him trying it again and again and again until he finds a submission. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Nalago Man. There's the elbow. All right, 
So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, he didn't seem too phased, but that high kick definitely got through. So Khabib Mago had all that, his methodical best tonight, and gets another takedown right there. Habib is one of those guys that will tell you what he's gonna do, and he will go and he will do it. And right now, that's being shown to be true. Because time and time again, he has secured takedowns on his opponent. Habib's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. In the half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and prove it to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. He worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and is showing right now. Oh, you're talking about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together. It all comes together. Nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Seconds now to go in the round. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Straight right hand now just misses. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. What a punch. Under a minute now to go in this one. The uppercut flails and misses. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. All right, so another takedown for the rest of He hinted that he wanted to strike here tonight, but... Sticks with the bread and butter, and it's working. The bread is buttered, so why would you not eat it? This guy is doing exactly what we have come to expect from him. He goes forward, he never changes, and he takes you down. Once you're on the ground, he grinds you out. This is a wrestler's calling call, and he is showing you why tonight in the octagon. Final seconds here of round two. Now with an overhand left. Oh, All right, round oh. three coming up next. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Ready to fight? Ready. Go all right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. 
All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Defensively slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong today. And that has caused frustration for the opponent. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh my goodness, that dark choke is very tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh man, what a strike from the bottom. Making all these shots count. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Now he's going full mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Let's go, posture, heavy shots. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. Oh, nice punishing kick to the bottom. Oh, back and forth to go. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Lands the overhand right. Those are big strikes. Mago Maddow gets the single leg takedown. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Man, he has a great double leg. Oh, it's good to see that Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. His misses are entertaining. Look at the redness on his body, man. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's going to secure it. I'll take your action. Okay. Oh, and there it is. Hashtag DC called. DC called, setting up a submission. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. That Kimura looks tight. He's got to attack the wrist here, John. Make short movements up to separate the arm from the body if he wants to get a finish. Holding the position now. He's smart. He knows not to lose his position. He's out. What submission defense on this play? Oh. All right, that's three rounds oh. in the books. We are headed to the championship round.
All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Ready, taken fight. down back to the mat again. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter the seminal? Oh, and there it is! Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 11 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Mirmago Mera. All right, so the masses ingesting this result here tonight. The great Khabib Nurmagomedov, your winner by knockout.